Hello, my name is Shafal Ahmad, and today I'll be presenting the effects of carbon nanodots on liver inflammation in mice. We are investigating cardiovascular disease, which is mainly caused by atherosclerosis and biomarked by high levels of inflammation. As you can see on this picture on the top right, we can see that a normal artery should have a large area for normal blood flow, but an artery with atherosclerosis has high levels of plaque, which constricts the blood flow and can induce high levels of clot formation. TNF-alpha induces high levels of this inflammation that is associated with atherosclerosis, which can decrease the anti-inflammatory gene expression and increase the pro-inflammatory gene expression, leading to the plaque we see above. Unfortunately, there are not many treatments for cardiovascular disease, and it affects many people around the world, which is why we are investigating carbon nanodots as a possible treatment. So what are carbon nanodots? Carbon nanodots are a new nanoparticle with promise in bioimaging, biosensing, and drug delivery, as can be seen in this image on the bottom. And this, the reason for these promises are because of its small size, water solubility, fluorescence, and reactive oxygen species scavenging ability. We have also observed in our lab the anti-inflammatory effects in endothelial cells. We are focusing on the liver because it is known to be one of the major organs involved in inflammatory diseases. And there is not much research to be known on the effects of carbon nanodots in vivo. This leads us to ask the question, what are the effects of carbon nanodots in liver inflammation? To answer this question, we came up with the hypothesis, carbon nanodots would lower inflammation caused by TNF-alpha. To test this hypothesis, we had three treatment groups. The control, TNF-alpha, which allowed for mimicking of the high levels of inflammation associated with atherosclerosis, and TNF-alpha plus CND, which was to mimic the treatment of the high levels of inflammation. We isolated the, liver, the RNA from the liver tissue of the mice and then tested this RNA using the nanodrop and synthesized cDNA, then diluted the cDNA to perform real-time quantitative PCR. We can see in figure one that the nanodrop shows no contamination of the RNA samples from salt or protein, and it ensures that there is a high level of RNA concentration. We can see in figure two that the pro-inflammatory gene expression of IL-6 is low in the control because of its high cycle count, high in the TNF-alpha group because of its low cycle count, and the TNF-alpha plus CND group is in between. In figure three, we can see that the two melting curves of two different genes are being compared. In figure four, we can see the pro-inflammatory gene expressions of IL-6, IL-1-beta, and MCP-1 significantly increased when comparing control to TNF-alpha and decreased when comparing TNF-alpha to TNF-alpha plus CND treatment groups. We determined statistical significance using the two-tail t-test with the p-value of less than 0.05 being considered significant. In figure five, we can see the anti-inflammatory gene expression of GCLC, NRF2, GCLM, and GST, and we can see that there is a decrease in the expression when comparing control to TNF-alpha, and there is an increase when comparing TNF-alpha to TNF-alpha plus CND. Again, we used a two-tailed t-test to de determine statistical significance with the p-value of less than 0.05 being considered statistically significant. So what do these findings tell us? We can assume that the CND significantly reduced TNF-alpha-induced inflammatory gene expression of IL-6 and MCP-1, and CNDs also increased anti-inflammatory gene expression, especially the genes that were significantly reduced by TNF-alpha treatment groups that were GCLC, GCLM, and NRF2. We can see these results shown in the image on the right that TNF-alpha decreases the anti-inflammatory gene expression and increases pro-inflammatory gene expression, while CNDs combat this by increasing anti-inflammatory gene expression and decreasing pro-inflammatory gene expression. So what do these results tell us overall? Overall, these results suggest that CNDs do have an anti-inflammatory gene expression effect in vivo. To further investigate the effect of carbon nanodots and the pathway, we can examine the NF-kappa-B signaling pathway in vivo. 
Thank you so much for attending my presentation.